Hey guys, let's have a cozy night in. I'm about to make a mocktail out of just a few ingredients. So let me just show you what I have so far. I have these oranges that I cut, they were going bad and I wanted to use them before they went terrible. So I cut up these like six or seven oranges right here and I'm about to juice them and you'll see what I do next. I just did some sparkling water and some freshly squeezed orange juice just to make it really clean. Mm. I actually like it. I put some more orange juice in it, so I actually really like it. It's good. I like it. This is such a good alternative to like an alcoholic drink. I don't drink alcohol, so I but I love having my drinks in a wine glass. It just makes me feel fancy, you know what I'm saying? Okay, time to say goodbye to my hubby. So I have the night to myself and the agenda for today is to clean my mess of a kitchen. It is a disaster, guys. And you guys know that after you clean a kitchen, I feel like it never stays clean. It's like the next day, boom, it's a mess again. So anyways, I'm gonna clean my kitchen. I wanna get cozy, maybe watch some TV. And we're just gonna have a, a productive and chill night. I feel like Productive and chill. Does that go together? I don't know. I don't want to feel like I'm overworking myself tonight. I just spent like, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes speaking to one of my long distance friends. I don't know if you've been through this, but you know when you make a friend, maybe at college, maybe you went away for college, I don't know, and then you move away and then you guys get older and now you guys are all long distance friends. That's what I have. I have a lot of long distance friends and I always FaceTime them and stuff like that, but it's just sad when you're not in the same city so you can't hang out with them which is sad but i do have some amazing friends here so i'm thankful and i'm excited to make even more friends because we haven't really been here that long so yeah anywho my kitchen is a disaster like i said so i'm gonna start doing the dishes and if you're wondering this is the aftermath of me making that orange sparkly juice my kitchen is a disaster let's clean it up is my husband and I's home brand. We sell candles and more things in the future, but you can find us at hunuessentials.com. And this is one of our tester candles. So we are having these bigger versions coming out very soon, which I'm really excited about. But I'm just cutting the wick because these are wooden wicks and I'm just gonna light it. It's just so beautiful. Just look. but I'm not eating chicken for this month so it's basically just guisado just soup and rice and it's pretty good if you hear my dishwasher going that's that's what that sound is I still have the rest of my counter to clean over there but I'm kind of feeling like I want some tofu right now so I'm gonna eat some tofu and I'm just gonna start pressing the tofu while I finish cleaning the rest of my kitchen
soup that I made is so good. Obviously, tofu, it's not chicken, that's for sure. It's not steak, but it's fine for now. I just wanted something nourishing because I literally only had like bananas today and that's basically all I ate. So, and honestly, one of my favorite things to do while I'm eating is watching a little bit of Netflix or YouTube. I just watch YouTube videos, educate myself on things, or just chill and vibe, watch some Netflix, whatever it might be. I just find it really relaxing to be by myself, eating some food and watching TV. Let me know if you guys do that too. So it's so interesting. I was watching a video on YouTube and recently I've been on this kick where I've been learning about pregnancy, learning about, you know, different things for the future. I'm not, like I said in a previous video, I'm not really in the baby making season. We're not having babies right now, but I am interested in learning about other people's stories, learning from doctors and just learning about the female body, things that I really didn't learn when I was younger and I didn't learn in school, or maybe I just didn't pay attention enough, I don't know. But I'm really interested in how everything works. And this last video was talking about hospital birth versus a home birth and basically the statistics and which is better. And I've been for so long thinking that I was for sure gonna have a home birth and natural birth and different things like that because I just thought it was gonna be better. But this video really just changed my thinking a little bit. So obviously this is something that's gonna be way in the future, but I think it's really interesting to hear the different sides of whether it's better to have a birth in the hospital or a birth at home. And she talks a lot about how there is a difference between having your midwife at your home or having a midwife at a hospital, which I think makes sense where you have a midwife at a hospital where you'll be able to, you know, have that close care just in case something goes wrong. So I'm really interested in what you guys think about that. If you are a woman and you've had a baby, then just share with me your experience, what you think, because I mean, obviously this is something that, I'm, that I've been thinking about just because I'm interested in it, but definitely just share, share with me your thoughts. I'm really interested in your guys' experience. I've also been really interested in hearing how other countries deals with their postpartum care. It's really cool, like the Chinese postpartum care where they do the 30 days and they have like a certain amount of rules that women are not allowed to do after those 30 days and then they have someone that comes into their home and takes care of them and I thought that was so amazing that like, that sounds awesome and a whole bunch of other countries do that too and I'm thinking man one day when we have children I would love to have that care after we give birth to just have someone in our home cooking and helping with basically or nurturing me back to health and also making sure that we're bonding as you know mother and baby so i think that's really interesting i'd love to know your guys thoughts i'm like i've been really interested recently and in just like seeing a whole bunch of different stories and if you are a woman who has had a baby then i definitely encourage you to go online and share your story because there is women like me who don't have children right now who aren't in the season of that but who are actually interested in what you have to say and in your story because every woman's story seems to be so different and it's just so interesting to me i think it's so beautiful how god created our bodies to create a human being like that's so amazing this is the last thing but one huge fact that blew my mind was when you have a daughter they're born with all the eggs that they will ever have and i thought that was so amazing a lot of these things about the female body and about who we are as humans like it really just blows my mind i think it's amazing but that being said you guys i hope you like my little homemaking vlog today i just had a chill night tonight and i'm probably just gonna go and chill and watch some tv but and just have a chill rest of the night by myself i want to get rested to make sure that i am awake and ready to conquer the day tomorrow on the topic of motherhood i am really excited to have my mom on my youtube channel in a couple months she's gonna come and visit and we're gonna talk about motherhood and this big topic that i've seen online of people regretting motherhood so i'm really excited for that conversation so if you are interested in further content then definitely subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me, to everyone that has already subscribed. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. I have loved talking with you in the comments and discussing different topics. 
And if you are new, I basically talk about my journey as a young wife and I talk about different topics discussing women, fem femininity, biblical truths, and I talk about faith as well. If any of those interest you, then definitely subscribe, like I said, and welcome to the Anastasia Hunu family. I'm excited for this next year and for all that we'll accomplish. But other than that, you guys, have a great rest of the night and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.